This is the get to the cone drill. Right, our attackman, which is Jules Henningberg, he'll be starting here at his cone at X. As you can see up top, we have two cones, right, where attackmen traditionally like to get to top side around that island area. Right, that's where Jules is gonna be dodging. As we blow the whistle, I'm coming behind, and as I get about right here, a second whistle will blow that'll release Jules to attack any one of these cones. I'll be playing Jules straight up. If Jules were to attack this cone, right, I'm running with him full speed. And as we get to GLE, I'm closing the gate, trying to get him to roll back, getting my hips down the field. Right, as you can tell, right, if I keep my hips like this, Jules will just come top side on me and score. Right, if I get my hips turned, right, I'm kind of sealing him from the inside of the field, making him roll back the other way and to the inside where that slide should be coming. A couple things to focus on here. Right, as, we're dry, as I'm coming back to react to Jules dodging, I gotta get a nice athletic stance, make him dodge six feet away from me with my stick out in front. As he dodges this way, now I'm running with him. As we get to this point right here, I need to get physical. Right, we call it closing the gate. I'm gonna bring my top leg. As I'm running with him, bring my top leg up, shuffle my feet. I should be in this position right about here. I'm right on his hips, leaning into him, driving him out to the sideline and or the end line. Biggest piece of this drill is closing the gate, getting my hips around downhill. I do not want to do this and let him just keep coming top side. I might look like I'm playing good defense here, but I really need to get this top leg, swing it over, keep him back and seal him to the end line. As a righty defenseman, if Jules were to drive up this way, a lot of kids are taught to get into that V-hold. That's not right or wrong. I do not like the V-hold. A guy who I think is the best in the league at doing V-holds is Matt Landis. So if you're, if that's your skill set and you like the V-hold, watch Matt Landis play. He's really good at it. All right, but I like to keep my stick behind for two reasons. One, Jules has to eventually bring his stick back to pass or shoot, and that will have my stick here to trail check and we'll lift up. I want to stay about even with him. We're about to step up field. So as we come, right, as I'm coming up here, I can punch my hands out. If he goes to roll inside, I have my stick here to lift underneath that bottom arm and drive out. Quick attackman like Jules, right, he would sense me going for that V-hold. And what he's going to do right away is that stick comes over his head down in front of that V-hold. He's probably going to roll back. As he inside rolls, as you can see in this V-hole position, he has me sealed. It's pretty much a slide coming across. I'm not in good position right here. Right, a guy like Matt Landis who's really good at it, you really need to be cognizant of when he's going to roll. Right, so I have my stick in front, he goes to roll. I'm using that forearm to drive him out to get him away from me, and now I can bring my stick back to play good defense there. This drills me focused for close defensemen. You also can take this drill up top so you can put two cones up at the alleys uh, for alley dodges. But right, for right now, we're gonna focus behind the goal. And that's the get to the cone drill.